I fuck with Shawty cause she bout her business, ayy. She independent and she on a mission, ayy. Been through some shit, but now it's better living. What's up, Flavor Squad? It's your girl, Fashionisha, here to give you all the flavor. If you are new here, make sure you hit that like button, make sure you subscribe, and make sure you comment down below, hashtag Flavor Squad. If you are not new here, I thank you so much for coming back to my channel. So today, y'all, I'm giving you a get ready with me. I'm getting ready to do nothing. I'm actually just... I don't know what we're doing today. I think we're going to like a Christmas store today and I want to get some pictures for Instagram. So I'm going to do that. So yeah, this is just going to be like a three in one get ready with me. I'm going to do my hair, my makeup and pick an outfit. I think I already know what I want to wear, but yeah, that's what we're going to do today. And I get ready with me. I don't like to just sit here and do my makeup and talk about nothing. So I've been trying to figure out like, what can I talk about with y'all while I'm doing my face or getting ready? And I just think I want to talk about my 2021 review. That's what we're going to do. 2021 review because honestly, I know we're not at the end of the year yet, but I mean, we are at the end of the year, but we got some days left. I'm over 2021 as of right now. Not in a bad way. Just, I'm just, let's move on. <laughs> into 2022 like let's just move on because where my mind is right now it's in another year like you just have to prepare and get ready for the next year before it even starts just so you can get a head start on things and that's where i'm at right now like 2022 what's up that's how i feel <laughs> so before i get started i'm gonna just clean my eyebrows up I did want to um, wax them, but I don't feel like it. So I'm gonna just arch them instead really quick before I get started. Talking and running my mouth, honey. And I'm not using anything special to clean my eyebrows. I just put some shampoo. I usually put conditioner, but shampoo is what I had closest to me. So that's what I'm using. my face is clean my eyebrows are clean now i can really get started i'm gonna be using the fenty beauty primer for my face my little sister put me on and i love it i love it so my 2021 in review like 2021 was honestly personally it was a good year you know a lot of good things happened a lot of goals were met you know a lot of progress was made and that was my goal for the year like my word for the year was progress and i think i made a lot of progress this year so next year should just be a propel up you know i should just propel up into the sky all great things you know but um yeah personally i had a good year i think 2021 was really good um i think in 2021 i just how can i put this i was just i was one of my biggest focuses i was my biggest focus this year and i think that's why i felt so good about the year because i was my biggest focus and it wasn't in a selfish way or anything. Sometimes you get so caught up in other people's stuff or you get so caught in, up in trying to make other people happy or do things for other people that you just kind of forget about yourself. And I really think that that's a big part of self-love in itself. Self-love isn't about, hold on y'all. I don't think self-love is about all the cutesy stuff, you know. It's not the body butters. It's not the exfoliator like it's not the material stuff like self-love i really think is internal yeah so self-love i really think is internal it's like it's, it's just not the physical thing it's a mind thing and i took pride this year in just being or allowing myself to be alone like have that alone time with myself like i love to just go shopping do something that i like I enjoy just being in my own 
company, you know, with nothing or no one else. I read a lot this year and I think that's one thing that I picked up that I really just love. Like I didn't know I loved reading, but I really love reading. I just love gaining new information about stuff, you know, just whatever. I love reading. And when I feel like when you spend a long time with yourself, you really learn things about yourself that you didn't know because I always had the conversation about reading and how we were kind of forced to do it in school. So I know I did not enjoy it because it was something that was forced upon me. But when I started to read things that I really enjoy, girl, I'll just be reading them. Let, let me finish these brows. I cannot talk and do this. I can't. So I'll be back. Oh yeah, y'all might be interested in what I'm using on my brows. Anastasia Brow Pomade. This is the color Ebony and I conceal with my LA Pro Girl concealer in the color Dark Cocoa. Sometimes I use um, toast, but I'm using Dark Cocoa today. So yeah, I'll be back. Okay, I think my eyebrows done. They're as done as they're gonna get. What was I talking about before I left? Yeah, self-love was really in, just internal for me. It was more so about making sure I was good, not just focusing on everybody else around. Making decisions for me, whatever made me happy, that's what I did. And I feel like that was the best way to live my life, honey. You cannot be living your life for other people because when, sh when stuff hit the fan, you're going to be the one that has to deal with it. When you don't feel happy, you're going to be the one that has to deal with it, you know? Business-wise, I think I just did a lot of learning in 2021 i didn't do much like do much but i learned a lot like i learned a lot i took some courses just to learn what i could and i know people have their opinions about courses but yeah 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 i feel how i feel other people feel how they feel about courses but everybody learns in different ways and i just feel like for me of course was the best route for me to learn and i just i think i realized what i really want to do like i got some direction and some clarity in 2021 about what i want to do and where i want to go with my business and with youtube i just really got a lot of clarity and i'm just so grateful that i did because when you don't have clarity on what you want to do or where you're going it can be difficult the whole journey can be difficult, honestly. You really just have to pray. Like, honestly, prayer and patience is what I think got me through. Like, prayer and patience. Because, honey, and be careful what you pray for. I don't know if you've ever heard that, but be careful what you pray for. Because if you pray for patience, you're going to get situations in which you have to be patient. And that's what I did. I prayed for patience, girl, and had to be extra patient. And yes, it was so uncomfortable for me. Like the whole patient thing, patience thing, is just really uncomfortable for me. I don't know why I don't have any patience. Well, I do now. <laughs> I was forced to have patience, so I do now. But before, I just don't, I don't, I don't know. But yeah, be careful what you pray for. I'm not telling you not to pray for those things. I'm just telling you to be prepared be prepared for what comes with what you're praying for, if that makes sense. On another note though, 2021 low key was like 2020's little sister or something cause we know what's going on in the world. Everything's just really ghetto. I don't even wanna get into that. Like it's just all ghetto. Ugh, it's always something going on. And honestly, that's why I just, I can't watch the news. I can't do that because I don't have time to be sad and depressed about what's going on in the world. Yes, it's important to know, but uh-uh. I just don't have time for that. Because for me, if I hear a sad story, I feel sad. Like I feel the emotions of the story, if that makes sense. I'm like that with dreams too, y'all. If I have a sad dream, I will wake up sad, feeling the emotions of what I just had a dream about. So we're not even gonna get into this stuff about the world. I honestly feel like 2021 overall was for self and I'm not apologetic about it. Like 
I think that that was the best move for me to just worry about self. And you can worry about self and also be there for other people. That's not saying that you have to completely be selfish to others or anything. You just have to learn how to balance um, to balance time with yourself, times with time with others, all in one. <clears throat> it can be difficult. I ain't gonna lie. Sometimes I be feeling like I'm a bad friend or a bad sister or a bad whatever daughter, just because I don't like to talk. <laughs> I don't like to talk a lot and that's how you keep relationships going you know just communicating with other people but sometimes I just don't be feeling like it especially like if I'm not feeling my best or not in my best mood it's just like oh I do not feel like talking but sometimes you got to think about others and not always think about yourself but it's also not bad to put yourself first as well just got to find that balance put it in the comments what uh what was your 2021 goals like did you meet your 2021 goals or was it difficult for you to stay on track and if it was that's okay like if you didn't meet your goals Figure out why you didn't meet your goals this year and make sure you meet them next year. Don't get so down on the fact that, oh, what I wanted to happen this year did not happen, so I failed. No, you didn't fail. I I really want to get into the conversation about failure. Um, I was going to save this for, for a podcast. So let's talk about failure. Um, if you're doing something for the first time or you're doing something that you've honestly never seen done before or you're working on something that's different from others, you have to give yourself grace, okay? Give yourself grace that you've never been here before. It's okay. It's okay that you fail because what did you just do? You just learned something from that failure and guess what you'll never fail like that again you have to find that positive that positive thought from what just happened you just fail like that but guess what you'll never fail like that again so it's okay because now you've learned from it you have to take those skills or whatever lesson you just got from that failure take that and never do it again you just learned what not to do. That's all you did. You just learned backwards. That's it. It's not that deep, okay? Don't let failure stop you. Don't let failure keep you from reaching your goals. Always remember why you're doing what you're doing. Don't let failure take over you, honestly, because it can. It really can take over you. It can have you down, but don't let it. Just find that positive aspect of what just happened. And honestly, every time I failed this year, it's kind of like I knew why that happened. It's because I did this or because I didn't do this or because I'm not doing this. <clears throat> like with YouTube, I felt like when I hit 5,000 subscribers, yes, that is such a big milestone for a YouTuber. Like, that is so big. But I honestly didn't feel how I thought I should feel and it's only because I wasn't <sighs> YouTube there are two sides of YouTube there are actually multiple sides of YouTube right and for creators we look at the numbers a lot and my numbers just weren't matching my subscribers so it kind of made me sad you know like it's like yeah I hit 5,000 subscribers and and what else according to my numbers what else was i doing but i just came to the realization like that's my fault i was never i've never been as consistent as you seen me be lately on youtube and that's why i was not succeeding when they say consistency is key it's not just the saying it's really important with whatever you're doing if you're just trying to be a good if you're trying to gain a, a new characteristic that she's such a nice person you're not gonna gain that characteristic if you're never being a nice person you know you have to continuously be a nice person you have to continuously show that side of yourself 
for people to think that you're a nice person. So for me, I wasn't continuously putting in the work that I needed to put in for my YouTube channel. So therefore, I wasn't growing. So the fact that I wasn't feeling as excited as I should have felt when I hit 5,000 subscribers, that was all on me. And I had to take that accountability, you know, to say, nobody's gonna put that work in for my channel except me. Like, this is not up to no one else except me. It's no one else's responsibility except mine. So when it comes to failure, make sure you're taking accountability for your actions or your lack thereof <coughs> when it happens and just learn from it. Take the good, take the good from failure. Don't let failure keep you out of the game, okay? I think that was in a movie. Cinderella, a Cinderella story. They were like, failure, something, something. Don't let it keep you out the game, whatever. Put in the comments if you know what I'm talking about. I hope y'all take this, what I'm saying seriously because I know it can be hard. Hearing it is easy, you know, saying it is easy. But actually doing it and not letting failure stop you, I know it can be hard. Also, if you're like a person who struggles with seeing how other people are winning and they're not having the same struggles as you, you have to always remember most people are not displaying the troubles. They're not it is displaying their failures for you to see. All you are seeing is the good. Trust me, people fail all the time, but they're not gonna put that on display for you to see. Of course, that doesn't match the aesthetic, okay? <laughs> the failures don't match the aesthetic. Like someone from, like me, for example, I'll sit here and talk to you guys about how I wasn't consistent and how that's what kept me from being as far as I probably could be right now. But most people aren't gonna talk to you about that just because some people aren't comfortable with talking about it. Some people don't want to, which is perfectly fine. And some people just, it doesn't match their aesthetic, like I said. <laughs> so that's that. You have to always remember like everybody goes through something. Nobody is living a perfect life. There's no way. There's no way anybody is out here living a perfect life. So don't think that you have to live a perfect life or your life needs to look perfect. Nobody's life is perfect. This is all kept. Social media is a big cap. Honestly, it is. Especially when I know we've all had people like we know personally that have a whole different persona on social media and it's like weren't you just and then you just mm. <laughs> like it's cap i promise but yeah i hope 2021 treated you guys well and i hope that you know we all gained something positive out of the year i know it's a whole bunch of hoopla going on you know it's a whole bunch going on this year but I hope that we all were just able to gain something good from the year and something that we can take with us into the new year to have a greater and even greater new year, you know? I'm ready to get cute. My hair is finally done. Woo, y'all, with my hair not done, I can't function. Honestly, I can't. Last week's videos, what was last week's videos? They weren't as spunky or whatever. I don't know the word. They just weren't up to the, that's actually they were. Last week's videos weren't my best videos. Only because like if I'm not looking good, I'm not feeling good honestly. And that's just how it is. I don't know why I'm like that, especially if my hair is not done. Lord, if my hair not done, I'm gonna feel like a thumb. And that's my best way to describe it. I'm gonna feel like a thumb. First of all, I look 12. So that just, no. Okay, y'all, the face is done. I do my makeup the same every time. My closet is a mess, so we're not even gone. Mm, it's cute though, huh? It's a mess, but it's cute. We're not gonna, we're gonna leave that alone. But this is what I think I'm gonna wear today. I'm gonna wear this hat with this dress and this coat from Shein. And then I'm gonna just put on 
I'm gonna just put on these denim heels from Fashion Nova. I got those years ago, y'all, years ago. And if you need the links to the, the dress and the coat, it'll be in a description from the last, check my last Shein videos. It's in one of those descriptions. Writing Shein outerwear, it's in that. <sighs> okay, so now I'm gonna just do my edges before I get dressed. And y'all know we use even over here even only my hairstylist to use something else on my edges and girl uh-uh i didn't like it whatever it was i had the little white stuff and i was like uh-uh what is this even would never why i'm doing my edges if i'm putting a hat on i'm still do my edges though. all right so see you guys when i'm dressed Okay. New jacket on. Oh, Y'all love this new jacket. So cute. Mm -hmm. What y'all think? I need to go put some jewelry on. And the hat. And that's about it. This is the fit. I just need to give me a bag, some shades, and a little jewelry. That's it. Make sure y'all follow me on Instagram so you can see the pic, okay? You can see the final look. Thank y'all for watching my video today. I hope that you enjoyed like this. Get ready with me. Hope that you enjoyed my little inspirational talks, you know. But that's all I have for you guys. Make sure you hit that like button. Make sure you subscribe, okay? Get to talking to me down in the comments, all right? Don't be scared. Don't be scared. May your curls pop and your grind never stop, Flavor Squad. I'm out of here.